G'day everybody and welcome back to our curated playthrough of Mass Effect. In the previous episode, we finally made the drive out to Peak 15 from Port Hanshan. And as soon as we arrived, we encountered some very strange alien creatures, which were very, very hostile indeed. Presumably those creatures have uh, come out of the labs and uh, after a bit of work trying to get Peak 15 back online, we managed to take the tram out here to Rift Station. It turns out that there are quite a few survivors here, as you can see, uh, quite a lot of people to talk to. So let's get started by maybe having a chat with these scientists. Where did they come from? Were they in the lab? I never went in the high security areas. You're not going to go to the hot labs, are you? Mm, well, certainly I am, but uh, not until we do a little bit of exploring and maybe take all of your stuff. Nice, some more weapons there. Damn it. Damn it. Looks like some more weapons in this one as well. I'm sure these guys won't need weapons, right? Okay, so we have a few people here. So there's a, an Asari there, an Elcor, quite a few guards. Let's chat to the Elcor first. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively, I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement, I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? I can appreciate the hustle, I suppose. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Righto. So, looks like he's got a whole bunch of level 6 items here, which is not bad, but uh, yeah, I'm still being a little bit cheap here. Uh, let's just check on the amps here. Okay, so we've got a better one and an Omni tool. Yeah, okay, Tali has the same one already equipped, so nothing for me, I don't think. Hmm, let's chat with the guards here. Science pukes. She just bug out and leave to die. All their fault anyway. <laughs> bug out. <laughs> Okay, he doesn't seem all there, to be honest. Got a smoke? We're all out. Hmm. Uh, who's this? What? No! Having a bit of a nightmare there. Sorry, I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Is there something you need? What do you do here? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. Okay. Dr. Cohen. Need to try and find him. What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. 
Ah, oh, yes. Um, we need to find Han Olar as well. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Okay. Well, um, yeah. We do need to go down to the hot labs to uh, see if we can find Lady Benezia, so we'll do that in a moment. Uh, restricted area. Been counting your kills? I'm up to 24. 24? Damn. Pretty impressive. Um, okay, this place is heavily fortified. Warning, watchdog protocol is active. Watchdog protocol. Um, we could easily decrypt that door, but I'm guessing they don't want us to go through there. Something's going on. Uh, Rift Station. You found Rift Station held by the battered survivors of the science team. It's obvious they've had a bad time and can't hold out much longer. You discovered a sealed section of Rift Station labs. It would be possible to blast your way in, but there may be a more subtle way. Okay, well, let's see if we can find this more subtle way. Um... So that's the med bays, but maybe let's chat with this Asari first. What? You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. Sounds very pleasant. Tell me about yourself. I am Alestia Ialis from the University of Arraeus. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? Did I interrupt something? <sighs> I was meditating. I suppose to a species as brash as yours, it would appear to be inattention. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? Fair enough. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Seems like a bit of an ass, though. Seriously. Um, Alright. Let's go to the quarantine area, because I think that's where Han Olar might be. Yeah, something doesn't seem right with this station, because... Uh, yeah, there's that area that is inaccessible and quite a few targets on radar when you approach it, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Ah, uh, here's uh, the man we need to speak to. Uh, let's have a chat with these guys first. Okay, this one will get you. How can you tell jokes? So this hydrogen atom says to another hydrogen, I lost my electron. I've heard this one. And the other hydrogen says, Man, are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> Not bad. Just shut up. Not bad. God. Gotta keep the mood light. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll... Yeah, you just have to. I used to have nightmares like this. Too many cheap horror vids before it lights out. Hmm, I can appreciate him trying to lighten the mood. More 
more weapons. Very nice. And what is this? Maintenance area. Maintenance door locked. Authorization required. Okay, so already a couple of doors we can't really open. Let's have a chat with Han Olar. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Okay, so we finally know that these things, these aliens, are actually the Rachni. Now the reason why this is a big deal is because we had initially thought that the Rachni were all extinct, exterminated by the Krogan during the Rachni Wars. You're not part of the crew! Call me Shepard. I'm a Spectre, sent by the Citadel. There aren't any human Spectres. Look, Plague doesn't care who you are. This lab is under quarantine. Plague? Okay, so that's new. So we've got the Rachni, but then we've also got this plague. Um, and again, another door. Uh, looks like it's leading into some sort of a lab there, which we can't really access. We're just going to head back now and, uh, yeah, see if we can speak to that project lead. I can't remember his name. I think it's Dr. Cohen might know a little bit more about what's going on here at Rift Station. Scientists. Let's have a chat. What, what? What do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? 
I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries. Governments. They'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Okay, we'll see if we can help the doctor out. How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis's guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy, irrational. Are you the doctor here? I'm a doctor, but not the doctor. My specialty is microbiology, not first aid. We had a medic, Dr. Sala, but he's... We lost him. The automatics can handle basic treatment. Mira runs them. How's the science team holding up? Better than... I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy. Irrational. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Okay, so find the notes, follow the instructions. I need to get into the maintenance areas. I have a pass, but there's nothing back there, just snow. Well, snow and maintenance access. Things are going to hit the fan in this place. Slip me the card and I'll keep your team safe. I have your word on that? Just don't tell the guards. They're twitchy enough. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay, interesting. Doesn't seem like Dr. Cohen really trusts the guards around here. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. What are you doing over here? I administrate the systems of all of the various Peak 15 facilities. What's wrong with these people? Accessing logs. They were in the midst of an experiment when the shutdown began. When you were taken offline. Without my program to administrate containment procedures, a quarantine breach occurred. What treatments have been attempted? I'm afraid treatment is not possible. An unknown toxin is present within the tissues of each patient. We don't need anything right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Okay. Well, in order for us to help Dr. Cohen with his crew of scientists, we're going to need to make that cure. And to do that, we're going to need to have access to uh, that blocked off lab. So, let's see if we can have a chat with uh, Ventralis and see if we can get permission to go in. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. 
All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. Okay, that's good. Um, seems like he's reasonable enough to let us go into those labs. Only problem is, if we don't actually make the cure, then we're going to be trapped there. But, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to be much of a problem, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I think it's back here, right? Where Han Olar was. here. What do you want? I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. None of the guards here seem very pleasant, to be honest. Okay, a few more doors. Nothing in there. Hmm, medkit. Uh, I think we're actually full of med gel right now. Nice. Too easy. Another locker in here. check those computers uh, research notes we've isolated four chemicals that can be combined to counteract the toxin they must be mixed in precise quantities as each chemical is poured the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amount that will work too little or too much will spoil the results okay so I guess we're going to have to mix some chemicals together. Uh, start mixing. Oh crap. Uh, overshot that last one guys. Let's just do that once more. Very good. Your mission ends here, Shepard. I thought she seemed odd. What happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Whoa, okay. Yeah, it turns out she's uh, an Asari commando. Ooh. Okay, we've actually got two of them. Very good. Damn it, wrong skill. I want the shields. Okay. Alright, I think we're clear. Okay, well, you know, I didn't like her anyway, so <laughs> good riddance. Uh, but, um, oh yeah, here's the dead guard. Bloody hell. 
They came out of there. You mean the Geth? The inorganics the Asari had with her? Venezia brought them with her. Hmm. Nothing new. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Okay, so once we hand over the quest back to Dr. Cohen, we should be able to get access to the maintenance area, I assume. So let's head back, see if we can give him the cure and help his scientists. Now, I'd be very interested in having a chat with Captain Ventralis about that Asari commando that just tried to kill us, so see what he has to say about that. And surely she was working for the Matriarch, so um, the Matriarch is definitely somewhere here in this facility. Is that the cure? You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Saren the Spectre? Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards... They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. Okay. Well, Captain Ventralis's men are sounding even more suspicious. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Can you give us some Medigel? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventralis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Nice. A lot of Paragon points right there. Now, speaking of Captain Ventralis, I think we ought to have a chat with him. Tell him what's happened with that Asari. See what he says about it. And yeah, I think it might actually be a good time for us to make our way into the hot labs. See if we can confront the matriarch down there. Something you need? I was attacked by the Asari who was in here. She killed your guard. Dr. Ayalas? But she seemed like the most stable one here. She was a huntress pledged to the Matriarch. A group of Geth were with her. Geth? I didn't know. God's honest truth, I thought she was just another egghead. Son of a bitch. I've got work to do. You and me both. Alright, and I think if we're going to go to the hot labs, we can get there by going back down. And I think there might be another elevator once we reach the bottom to get to the hot labs from there. Those are the trams, and there we go, hot labs. Not entirely sure what to expect down here, but uh, yeah, not sure how Liara's gonna react to meeting her mother again. Uh... 
Vyacheslav Tartakovsky wasn't who I was expecting down here. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Wait. Is there an Asari matriarch here? Asari? I have not seen one. She is safe then, at Rift Station. Uh, this is not important. You must be listening. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the Purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Okay, so to get rid of the Rachni, it seems we're going to have to activate some sort of purge. Or a neutron purge is what they're saying it is. Uh... Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Is there an Asari here? There is an Asari I cannot identify standing next to you. How you tolerate literal-minded VIs is beyond me. There are no others visible to my remaining internal sensors. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. God damn it. Are there any survivors in here? Yaroslav Tartakovsky, Director of Operations, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. Damn. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Let's do it. I need information on the neutron purge. The neutron purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. 
Uh, let's do it. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Commander. Okay, so seems like we actually need to speak to this guy and uh, get his code before we can actually activate it. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get near the response. Shit. Damn it. Okay. Um, so we lost the guy who had the key. Um, can we get it off of him? I think we just did. Let's go back to Mira. Online, how can I help you? Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. 120 seconds? Jesus. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's not much time at all. Jeez, and we've got so many outside. Gonna try and make it to the lift within that time. Uh, let's uh, use some biotic powers here. Jeez, so many of them. So many on radar as well, I just realized. Hell. Okay, let's uh, make a run for it. Oh, bloody hell. So, presumably, that's taken care of all of the Rachni. Now, let's just make our way back up, because uh, people have some explaining to do, because the Matriarch wasn't down in the hot labs at all. Uh, okay. Captain Ventralis doesn't seem to be here. Maybe he's gone back inside. Let's see if we can find him. Uh I'm sorry about this, Shepard. We've got orders from Benezia. Open fire! Oh you double crossing bastard. Okay. Now we know why all of the guards were acting a little bit suspiciously, because uh, seems like everyone's on Benezia's payroll here. Oh shit. Just 
just a little bit more. Let's uh, switch back. Okay, recharge our shields. Nice. Whoa. Okay, the turrets are still there. Damn it. Um, we still have access to that maintenance section, so let's see if we can circle back around there, uh, and hopefully that might give us the edge. Because I don't think they would be expecting us to flank them. I hope that it actually gives us a nice flank, but yeah. Walking into the front door just doesn't seem like a good idea at this point. Whoa, whoa. Will I get a you-know-too-much speech? Shut up. Oh, here we go again. Uh, lift. Very nice. Okay. So, grenade that one. Nice. Uh, oh. It's a... A little bit buggy, guys. Uh, <laughs> some reason uh, this guard is, uh, yeah, still down. Let's see. Um, ah, there we go. Bit of a strange bug right there. Everywhere I go, I'm the only survivor. Maybe you'd better stand back. I won't let anything happen. Why did she try to kill you? Why do you think? We know what they did. The company wants to bury their mistake. They sent a matriarch to make us disappear. Benezia? She's alive? She's here? She ordered Ventralis to send you to the hot labs. She expected the Rachni to kill you. Just point me in the right direction. Through the checkpoint. Just keep going. Do whatever you like. I'm getting off this mountain. Bloody hell. Okay, so it seems like everything was a bit of a setup as soon as we got here. Alright. Maintenance area. Okay, I thought we had dealt with all of the Rachni. Maybe there's still some more. Let's uh, just grab this loot. Nice. Okay. Um some labs here. A couple more crates. Thank you very much. And... Elevator. Um... Not sure if it would be a good idea to go into the labs or make our way back up. Possibly, let's just go up again, see if we can see what's happening up there, and then we'll continue back into those labs. A lot of targets here. Hmm. Nice. 
that's uh, overkill. Damn. Okay, this rifle is really strong. <laughs> Bit of an invisible wall going on there. Or maybe that's glass. Uh, what can we do here? Maybe lift? Very nice. Keep selecting the... Ooh. Yeah, sorry. Um, I was just going to say, keep selecting the wrong skill. Uh, just one more target, apparently. Okay, so this leads back out. Okay, very quiet now. Can't seem to find any of the other guys. Either they've left already or something's happened to them. Anyway, let's go back, see if we can take that lift back down and uh, enter the labs. See what's going on in there. Yeah, Captain Ventralis seemed pretty alright at the start, but uh, yeah, things were fishy as soon as we interacted with everyone else, especially the guards. Oh, there's a matriarch. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict. Uh, okay, that's bad. Uh, alright. Asari Commandos, let's give them a taste of our own biotics. That's one down. Very nice. Okay, so we've got some geth this time. Uh, seems like they're on the other side of this room. Let's just heal up a little bit. Ooh, and they've got some more commandos. Uh, just got to be really careful here because those commandos seem to really like rushing in. Uh, overload. Nice. Okay, so with the commandos gone, we should be able to push up a little bit more here. Very good. Switch back. Nice. Uh, let's see. 
Oh, crap. Didn't realize who was behind us. Okay, looks like she's getting weaker. Uh, oh, crap. We are being attacked from two sides this time. God, destroyer. Oh, okay, that was a bit close. Nice grenade there. Okay, so just one group left. Should be able to quickly clear them out. Just one more. Very nice. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mu Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? Four thousand years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. 
Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh You should... Oh, you should... Mother, I... Don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Whoa. Uh, okay. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, let's use lift. Okay, that wasn't too hard. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> All right, guys. That concludes our search for Matriarch Benezia. Unfortunately, we couldn't save her. This is a pretty good place for a bit of a break. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like, dislike, or a comment or two down below. Stay true, and I'll see you in the next one.